Hello. In this lesson, we're going to look at a really great expression. And this is for the topic of food. Eat your greens. Do you know what that means? Well, let's have a look. So greens means green vegetables. And in English, instead of saying eat your green vegetables, we often say eat your greens. So here are some examples. Green vegetables such as cabbage, green beans, spinach, courgette. And I'm sure in your country there are more green vegetables. For example, broccoli, water morning glory. So greens are all the green vegetables. Here are two sentences to help you understand how to use this expression. The first one. He is such a fussy eater. He never eats his greens. Now, this is a very nice expression here. It's a lovely adjective, a fussy eater. Now, fussy is an adjective which is about someone who is difficult to please. They don't like this and they don't like that. You can be fussy about many different things. But for this, it is a fussy eater. And we often use that when we talk about a child. There are many children who don't like this and don't like that, and we call them a fussy eater. So he's such a fussy eater. He never eats his greens. Very nice to use. And here you can see it in a different way. Parents need to improve their children's diet and make sure they eat plenty of greens. So here we've got lots or plenty of greens. And this is all about parents making sure that their children get the necessary food for health in their diet. So for example, they children do need to eat more greens, more fish and food that is nice and healthy for them. Now this expression, eat your greens and eat plenty of greens, Please, I want you to understand, this is not for academic writing. This is for speaking. And it's a very nice expression to use for your IELTS speaking test. Right, well, that's all for this lesson. I will see you next time.